after joining ATH job it's like more into real world uh, uh, real yeah. world programs and all uh, after joining ATH job i realized i have to do coding a lot so that i can improve my skills uh, yeah. uh, with this dsa part as more into dsa after coming to ATH job uh and yeah. then uh doing coding related dsa logical thinking and analytical thinking were improved a lot uh with that i have uh, cracked uh, tech mahindra hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel we are back with another testimonial today we have jyotika with us jyotika recently got placed in tech mahindra she did her graduation in btech in the year 2023 itself uh, today we talk to her and try to understand how her entire journey was uh, with akio job what was the reason that she felt like she wanted to upskill herself and few more things from her we will try to understand and also try to see you know what all advice does she have for people especially for women who want to get into coding but are somehow hesitant towards it so do make sure that you watch this video till the end but before moving forward take a moment to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you're always notified on all our upcoming videos uh, now without wasting any more time let's jump into the session uh, hi jyotika thank you so yeah, much for hi, taking, hi. Out, uh, taking out time to do this with us uh, can you quickly introduce yourself for our viewers yeah i am jyotika surya as you already know i recently graduated from gunanak institution technical campus in hyderabad in the branch of computer science and engineering uh and uh, i did a minor in aml as well uh with the jntu odc uh and i recently got placed in tech mahindra uh, with the ek job okay so jyotika you are a very uh, recent graduate right last year only you yeah. graduated and you've done it in computer science itself right so tell us a little bit about uh, you know your college life uh, first of all like why did you feel like uh, you know pursuing computer science as a uh, you know graduation degree and uh, when did you feel like that you know this is not enough maybe you would rather go with a boot camp and then upskill yourself properly what was the reason for it yeah firstly uh, as you know i have a computer science graduate uh, in my intermediate i chose mpc as my degree uh, yeah. so i wrote mains exam and i got uh, i wrote mset exam and i got to into the college of gunanak uh, through my mset uh through counseling and then afterwards uh, why i chose computer science is like uh being a normal student from a middle class family i've always interested in uh, software and all all my cousins are also into software and i'm like okay let me go into that software field and i have to test myself uh how long can i go into this career uh so hmm. from second year uh from second year i started learning coding in basic c language and then do java uh java is like uh, my strength language uh regarding other languages java is too much my, my into my interest uh, i've did some mm. projects like encrypt encryption and all using java language um mm. and then uh, our college introduced a minor degree in aml branch mm. uh, rather than csc we can have this option of taking minor degree uh, so i chose mm. minor degree as well so now uh, as a jntu student Uh, I've got degree in both uh, AML and computer science dual degree as well. Uh, hmm. So, and regarding coding, uh, Java is always my strength, as I already told you. Uh, and hmm. C and Python were like uh, I am into Python as well. So, I did some basic projects in Python as well. Uh, and hmm. Java, uh, I did a lot more projects in Java, and I've started uh, lead code as a rank coding in using Java. Uh, hmm. After joining AK job. it's like more into real world uh, uh, real world programs and all uh, after joining ak job i realized i have to do coding a lot so that i can improve my skills uh, uh, with this dsa part i'm more into dsa after coming to ak job uh, and then uh, doing coding related dsa logical thinking and analytical thinking were improved a lot uh, with that i have uh, cracked uh, tech mahindra okay so uh, jyotika like you mentioned like uh, you know from your second year itself you were very much interested in learning coding and you started your preparation from that time itself you started making a lot of projects also right and like you also mentioned that you had a minor in ai ml as well so you pretty much always knew that you what you wanted to do and you were on the right track right yeah. so can you maybe tell me at like that time exactly in your life where you felt like that you maybe needed to you know join an institute like actor job 
or you know you preparing on your own was not enough what was that time yeah. like? actually what happened is like second year is my self study period uh, and due to covid i have no guidance actually uh, so i prepared uh, like uh, some youtube channel reference uh, my friends help and all i prepared through i started learning dsa uh, but hmm. i didn't uh, go into that core dsa part actually uh, so hmm. in third year what i realized is like uh, i have to sit for placements and for placements logical thinking is the most thing we have to that strength we have to uh, achieve uh, during this college itself uh, so one of my friends suggested i take a job and then from then uh, mentors are used to guide me they used to uh, we used to have a uh, uh, sessions every weekend i used to have interview calls i used to have exams every weekend and then promoting for next uh, next level uh, so mm-hmm. i used to take it as a challenge to get into next level uh, to complete that course um mm-hmm. and then uh, not only as a challenge but that dsa thing is like uh, i have to uh, put my skills and my coding ability into that and complete that in interviews like it's real time interview uh, like we, mm-hmm. while i'm attending tech mahindra i didn't feel any nervous or what uh, mm-hmm. it is like usual mm-hmm. casual thing because i've already attended interviews through a your job and all mm-hmm. uh, so it was like uh, dsa part helped me a lot through java Uh, hmm. any other can take any other language but for me java is like my core skill uh, so dsa with using java uh, and mentors they are the main thing uh, which helped hmm. me with guided me uh, any mistakes uh, there used to be some grading uh, for 10 there used to be some grading uh, for hmm. 10 every time while attending interview i was like i have to get 9 above for sure uh, so hmm. that that challenge that book that goal helped me a lot for achieving this yeah okay that's great to know jyotika so it's been yeah. more than a year for you uh, here in akio job right that you have been consistently yeah. studying so can you maybe tell me like uh, what all difference do you feel in yourself now like when you started learning coding even though uh, when you started with akio job you were already really good at maybe lang- c language or you know had already built few projects but now you are a full fledged software developer based in tech mahindra yeah. so what all differences have you noticed in yourself as a person or a professional who has you know learned a lot or grown so much yeah firstly before joining ek job i used to be a little nervous regarding uh, logical thinking uh, to write the code i was like always mm-hmm. nervous so now i have to uh, write the code within 10 minutes so i used to take 20 minutes time uh, so because of my self thing and all it used to take a lot of time after mm-hmm. joining ek job what happened is like uh i used to practice a lot practice leap code hook uh, hacker rank uh and we used to practice it on the portal and then upload it to github uh, hmm. so that made me okay so i have to think fast think logical ability fast uh, uh, i have to think an- analytically i have to think uh, more ways uh, what are the ways uh, to reduce the time complexity and all uh so yes. through this practice a lot uh, i used to write the code very fast uh it's mm-hmm. like before it used to take me 10 minutes now we're just taking 5 minutes 3 minutes and all like that so mm-hmm. that helped a lot for me for improving in this thing. okay so jyotika uh, uh so now that you are finally a software developer right you have gotten placed yeah. in tech mahindra as well have, have you felt this difference like do you see very less women in your maybe badge or also in college and does that somehow you know used to demotivate you or was it something that you did not really care about at all yeah the motivation is not there for me uh, but hmm. uh, i feel like women uh, now these days are more interested into coding as well uh, before hmm. uh, when i am in college uh, during college placements only few of the girls getting placed and all uh, but hmm. uh, after after this after few days and all when i entered tech mahindra i was like okay everyone are interested there is no gender bias like that uh but i feel hmm. uh boys and girls are not the um, boys are more efficient girls are less efficient that is not the thing because coding is about your logical ability how do you think and how you act fast uh based hmm. on that girls can do mo- more than what boys can do actually so uh, i didn't yeah. feel any bias at any time yeah great yeah. so i hope like people especially women who are listening to you will surely you know get inspired from your story and continue yeah. putting in their efforts and also are able to become great coders like you are uh, now so jyotika now yeah. let's talk, do a little bit of a rapid fire round with you right i'll just yeah, ask yeah, you a sure. few questions 
and you can just okay. let me know whatever comes to your mind okay yeah, so yeah. first one would be um, now which is your favorite coding language yeah as i said already java is my strength and my favorite <laughs> language okay and uh, if you have to describe your entire coding uh, journey with akio job in one word what would that be yeah it will it will be tough and easy uh, it's tough as well as it's easy for me uh, to get yeah. into this okay and uh, like you mentioned that you have been studying coding and also ai ml was your minor in college right so if you have to just name one uh, you know tech trend that you're most excited about what would that be yeah i'm more excited about cloud computing as of now uh, because uh, i like java but i wanted to go into the stream of python as well in real time uh, so cloud computing is with me yeah so will you be learning that as well soon uh yeah in my uh, domain my company has that domain so if in case okay. is there any possibility i'll be moving into that okay that's great to know jyotika so these are the questions i had in mind thank you so much again yeah. for taking out time uh, to do this yeah, with us yeah. i'm i'm sure people you know especially women listening to you will surely uh, find it really inspiring and we wish you all the best for your future and your yeah, journey thank ahead you, thank you. that is it for today's video guys i hope you all found it extremely insightful if you guys have any suggestions on what kind of questions you want us to cover in our next testimonial do let us know in the comment section below and if you guys are also interested in learning coding or making a career in tech then just visit the link provided in the description below uh, the link will take you to an aptitude test which will help you in identifying which course is best for you be it full stack or data analytics both the courses have amazing instructors from top it companies who will be there to guide you throughout your journey so do make sure that you check out the link provided in the description box below and if you guys are new to the channel then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you're always notified on all our upcoming videos uh, and thank you so much for watching this video we will see you in the next one